Hey guys, what's going on? Let me tell you what's going on. As you can see, I'm back in my old spot. I got the GMG fired up. We're running post oak pellets from B&B. It's good to be home. So you can see, I'm back, man. This is it. Got my plates on the wall, your plates on the wall, plates you've sent me, all of y'all sent, most of y'all sent. I'm still taking those. Y'all want to send me some plates, we'll put them up here and hang out. Today, we are cooking up some Texas short ribs from Porter Road. These things look fantastic. They look mean. They're meaty. We're going to throw them on that GMG with some post oak pellets from B&B. &B. GMG and B&B, &B, post oak, Porter Road. It's going to be fun. It's going to be money. Like I always say, stick around. All right, guys. As I stated, Porter Road sent me a box of goodies. Today, we're doing the Texas Short Ribs. Also, going to be showing off a new blade I've got from Kuma Knives. This is a chef's knife that I really, really dig. I've been using it on several different things, and it works fantastic. Also, the star of today's show, rub-wise, is from Goldie's. Really, really good all-purpose rub. Can't wait to try it on these ribs. I haven't tasted it yet, except out of the bottle. Looks really, really good. It's got to be good if it was uh, loaded, right? The top barbecue joint. Going to be good stuff, right? Kuma Knives, Goldies, Porter Road. It's going to be fun. If you're not familiar with Porter Road, let me show you a little slideshow, and let's talk about it. So Porter Road works with select farms and expertly hand cuts every piece at the Kentucky facility. Gotta love their motto, if it's not raised right, it can't be delicious. Porter Road dry ages all of their beef, which creates tenderness and intense flavors that will completely change how you think about beef. You'll notice that the chicken is a deep yellow color. Their pork has a darker hue as well. This is a result of healthy diets on the animals, outdoor exercises, so keep the recipe simple and let the meat speak for itself. All right, pretty, pretty cool story. Quality meats for dang sure. Let's go ahead and dig into this pack. Got a hot knife through butter. Get out of here. Nice bone, gonna take a little bit of that. So good. Gonna take a little bit off of here on top of there. See that like right that. Not too bad, nice coloring, marbling. Take a little fat off of that. It's on this side. Oh, that's going to marble really well. All right. No binders, like always. Just a little bit of goldies on here. Pat it in. All sides, bone side down. Really smells good. down there you know Texas short ribs pretty much basically dino rib has been cut down awesome that is it got our barbecue prep tub by drippies go ahead and close it up get the lid on let them sit for a few minutes and we'll get them on the GMG all right, it's been a few minutes. I like the way the ribs look. Got a good color on them. Let me go on the GMG. Bone side down, just like that. Maybe three that way, and one like that. I got my hot box and my diverter box in the smoker offset a bit, get a hotter zone on this side of the grill. We're running 275 degrees right now. See how long it takes. All right, our rib's been on for a little over two hours. Let's go ahead and take a look. 
Oh yeah, looking good. Nice and dry, they will need a spritz, but before we spritz them, let's go ahead and get a temp on them. Alright, they look good. Let's go ahead and just give them a little spritz. This is just water only. Not going to need anything else. Alright, we're going to let these sit. Got some good pullback on the bones here. Going to let them sit for just about 10 15 more minutes and we're going to wrap them in foil. Alright, let's go. Looking good. Again, good pullback on the bones there. We are going to put them meat side down. Again, didn't remove the membrane or anything like that. Don't let them ride. Get a little bit of water. Probably about a third of a cup. Just so they can finish off steaming a little bit in there. That'll be it. Out the way. Don't want to go too tight. Don't want the bones poking through. And get them back on the smoker. That is it. Leave them there for about another hour, hour and a half, and we'll be good to go. All right, hey guys, I want to talk again real quick about Porter Road. If you're interested in their products, I'm going to have some links down below in the description where you can get some deals, where you can get their products, more information, check them out. If you're interested and want to order online, I'll have a product code below that'll save you a little bit of money there too, all right? Been really impressed with the products from Porter Road. Excellent, excellent meat purveyor company. You're going to see some other cooks coming up on the GMG, on my smoking text, on my stick burner over here. Got a brisket point lined up. I got some picanha going on and we got that big monster doors hammer, they call it, right? Porter Road, check him out. It's gonna be fun. All right, it's been about half an hour, 45 minutes. Once we wrap these, you can see I got some potatoes over here. That's for a little later on, it's got nothing to do with the video, but let's go ahead and tempt these. Oh, we got some rowdy pullback on there. If you can see that. Let's go ahead and get a temperature here. I feel just like butter. Yeah, 205. Yeah, that's hot. Yeah, these are done. Take what I'm gonna do is go ahead and open these up. Just like so. And let them sit for a little bit. Let them rest. Leave it open, we're gonna go ahead and leave them like that, okay? All right, all right, go ahead and get these out of here. Set them in this prep tub. Let's see, looking mighty good. Gonna let them kind of rest here a little bit. Pop that side up, pop that side up. Get a lid on it, let them sit for a little bit. Got these potatoes I got over here cooking. Then finish off over here as a side. And let these rest for a few minutes and we'll cut into them. All right, guys, that's it, man. This cook is done. Those Texas short ribs from Porter Road, man, they didn't take long at all on the GMG here. It was just really, really a fun, quick, easy cook. They looked amazing, smelled amazing. Let's go ahead and taste one, all right? Let's give it a shot. I have one right here in a little warmer. It's already fallen off the bone, but I mean, it's got some good color. You can see that there. There we go. Look at that color on that bone. Nice rendering, that Goldie's all-purpose rub. Again, B&B &B pellets, GMG. Took roughly about three and a half, almost four hours. Still got it going. I got some taters in there. They're going to go side dish with this, but right now we're focusing on the ribs. Smells like brisket, actually. Let's give this a little taste.
Mm. Beefy. Picking up that that oak smoke. A little garlic. That fat in there is just perfect. Mm. Good ring. I mean, you see that fibers in there. Wow. Nice fatty. Oh my goodness. Mmm. 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 You can see that shine on my fingers. Guys, turned out killer. GMG, again, get you one. Appreciate y'all watching as always. Back home, guys. We're back home. Catch you on the next one. Thanks.